a TV guide calling the Fonz one of the top 10 iconic TV characters in history, Happy Days star Henry Winkler is still on a roll four decades later. With a recent Emmy win for HBO's Barry, Henry Winkler recently came to Israel for the first time. Here's my exclusive interview with him as he toured Jerusalem's famous Machne Yehuda food market. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. I am so happy to be on camera with you. We have met many times in the past and now professionally. Here in Jerusalem, of all yes. places. Amazing. <laughs> my first time in Israel. It, I'm so happy to be here. What has the experience uh, been like for you thus far? Has it succeeded your okay. expectations, met your expectations? It is delicious. It is friendly. It is safe. Welcome to the second neighborhood of Nachlau. Henry Winkler was treated to a culinary tour of Jerusalem's famous Machne Yehuda food market. We just had a Georgian piece of bread with egg and cottage cheese that all I want to do is not talk to you, but have another one. <laughs> Still awake, huh, Fonz? Yeah, it's a bad habit I got. I don't sleep on the weekends. <laughs> what do you think is the lasting legacy? Comedy and its humanity. Because, it, you know, everything starts with the people at the top. So the, the three producers had a point of view, and uh, Gary Marshall was one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. And I didn't even know until recently that, the, that it was even supposed to be like a, a minor character. Yes, I had six lines. I worked once a week. And then uh, the rest is history. And uh, they are still my family. And action. What do I, I don't know what to say. Wow, wow. The 76-year young actor is still lighting up the screen, currently starring in HBO's Barry. I got the Fonz when I was 27 years old. And I got Barry when I was 72 years old. Just flipped the numbers. And that I'm still working. There are men my age who are waiting for the phone to ring. And that I am still living my dream is an amazing thing. I, I am grateful every day. Similarly, Henry Winkler and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel star Caroline Aaron came to Israel to work. I made a show called Hanshi. It took me a week to figure out how to say that name. <laughs> so I say it as often as I can. Hanchi. Hanchi. With a ch. <laughs> and it's on hot. Oh, it's so thrilling. I mean, I've never been to Israel. I get to play Henry Winkler's wife. That's not bad um, to begin with. And Henry has also not been to Israel. So we met here and we said we're Israeli virgins. We're losing our virginity together <laughs> in the Holy Land. We, could, we couldn't believe it. The veteran actors are guest starring in U.S.-Israel crossover series, Hanshi, playing the parents of an Orthodox woman who leaves Brooklyn to come to Israel, where she sows her oats with Israeli soldiers. Everybody in the production was so wonderful. We're the sort of the veterans of Hollywood and went, and they had so much to teach us. There is no class system the way there is in Hollywood, where you have the bigger trailer, I have the smaller trailer, so I'm more important than you, right? Everybody contributes and no one is shut out. And it, it's an incredibly creative way to work. Henry and Caroline each had their own unique experiences as Jewish Americans. Even though everyone assumes Caroline is a New Yorker, she's actually a Southern Belle from Richmond, Virginia. There were no Jews where I grew up. There were two Jews in my high school, I think, of a thousand kids. And they'd have like class elections on Rosh Hashanah. When my husband first came to meet my family in Virginia, he'd never heard the Shema with a Southern accent. Matzo ball soup is tomato based. So for a Passover, matzo ball soup is orange. You have fried chicken as your main meal. Henry's parents narrowly escaped Nazi Germany in 1939 and made their way to New York. He just got a six week visa. And then uh, he never told my mother that they're not going back. And so they, uh, they came and he took uh, the, his mother's jewelry, bought a box of chocolate, melted it down, poured the chocolate over each piece of jewelry, let it harden, put it under his arm. And when the Nazi said, are you taking anything of value out of Germany? He said, no, open my bags, I've got nothing. It was all in the chocolate. On another note, Henry Winkler is also a prolific children's author. Safe air, book, that's it. 
with his autobiographical Hank Zipser book series, Rewriting the Stigma of Growing Up with Learning Disabilities. The 28 are about a little boy, me, who has learning challenges. So I want to say to every child that is listening, no matter how difficult it is for you to learn, it has nothing to do with how brilliant you are. Here, you up on your give me your phone, I have let me take it. Come here. Parents are gonna be so jealous. In Jerusalem, Emily Francis, I-24 News. Oh,